Um, so there's the 50 meter uh, pool in there, the, 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 the diving pool. It's all full of uh, Olympic water now, but I don't think that's really much different to uh, other water. Uh, and uh, they're making use of that water. Any overflow from that water is actually used to flush all the toilets in there as well. So uh, quite environmentally friendly. We go down under a bridge in just uh, a couple of moments. Uh, and this bridge is the main access for people coming into the park. It comes out of the uh, Westwood Shopping Centre uh, and Stratford Station, and so most people who walking in that way go over the end of the Aquatic Centre uh, down towards the stadium. Be uh, a very impressive uh, route in once that's all completed. And coming up now on the left-hand side, uh, this is uh, the uh, water polo pool, uh, which is in construction but uh, uh, coming on very well. Um, I do give a word of warning about water polo. I went to the Athens Games for a, a while in 2004 uh, and saw water polo. Um, it was a, an amazing game. I, I'd never seen it before. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, America were playing uh, Canada and uh, America were 4-0 up. But Canada actually won 5-4. And a Canadian lady sitting just a couple of seats away from me, no one between us, understandably got a bit excited and she flung her arms out and hit me right around the side of the face so it's a dangerous game to spectate so uh, be warned and again you see on the left here a clear view of the uh, the stadium uh, that's going to be used of course for the opening and closing ceremonies for the athletics for the olympics and the athletics for the uh, paralympics uh, we'll be going under a bridge again in a moment but before we do so just over on the right just briefly you see something of the Westwood Shopping Centre, see more of that later. But this uh, the central area is where the sponsors are going to have their hospitality uh, tents and so on for the games. Now, as we come through uh, this bridge, if you look to your left, you can see a special bridge there uh, that's actually got a mirrored finish reflecting um, uh, the uh, cleaned up and totally finished, and uh, uh, it will be quite a thing to see. And there's a special pack of that as well we'll see that uh, briefly later there are a number of bridges in the park because there's a lot of water that flows through and other bridges have been built as part of the whole construction a few seconds on the right hand side as we get through this particular bridge uh, you'll see what is the main energy center is this building here it's got the big black blocks to start off with and then it goes into the main uh, generating centre. Um, this will produce all the energy that uh, is required for the heating, the cooling uh, of all the venues uh, on site, uh, also parts of Stratford City for all the Olympic Village uh, and for the six to seven thousand homes that actually built, be built here uh, after the Games as part of the whole uh, legacy. So, and it's a much more a particular way to enhance bird nesting and uh, that is actually has been uh, taking place. The older building you see just the end of it, uh, that's the only uh, building that uh, is on the site that's not actually been demolished and uh, that could well be um, an exhibition centre or something of that nature uh, after the Games are over. The area we're beginning to move through now, uh, this is where all the um, uh, merchandising will be uh, for the Games. Uh, probably going to be the largest McDonald's in the world uh, when it's here. So Usain Bolt can get his chicken nuggets uh, on site and uh, hopefully get another record breaking attempt. tent. Uh, but get all your t-shirts and your caps and your pins and whatever uh, that would be for sale. Here. Uh, as we turn uh, <coughs> to the left, you look over to the right towards the stadium uh, once again, uh, you'll notice on the side of it is a sort of a big black box. That's actually the VIP suite, uh, if that's in the area they're coming. And you'll also see that coming down the side of it, there are some uh, strips of fabric. Uh, the original idea was that there would be a fabric curtain going around the whole of the stadium. Uh, but that was cut because of the cuts that had to be made, but they are now thinking of putting that in place and they're testing out that fabric there. Uh, on the left hand side here, uh, just behind that big uh, red crane, you can see some offices. Uh, this is the, where the 
uh, operations centre for the ODA was on Bickle Centre for the construction workers. I say over 11,000 working on site, over 17 million hours have been worked in total, uh, and they can go and see doctors and so on there. But there's also an accident emergency centre there, but uh, in all that time, that's not really been used. There's not been one major report. Uh, even though those many millions of hours have actually been worked, which is uh, quite remarkable. And then the energy centre again on the left here. But coming up on the left uh, now is the main handball arena. Uh, handball's not a particularly uh, well-known game in the UK. But we do uh, now have a men's team and a ladies team uh, for the Olympics. Um, You'll notice the, the window that's around the bottom of that, that actually goes around all four sides of that uh, venue. Uh, and, and that window, coupled with um, uh, what they call light tubes, 88 of them in the roof, uh, allow as much natural light as is possible to get into that, into that venue. The, the light tubes actually concentrate that uh, light, and that means it cuts down on the amount of uh, artificial light and the energy associate, associated with that that's actually uh, being used. Uh, seating there for about six, a bit about what's going to be used for other purposes as well. But uh, coming around now, if you look over to your right hand side, you can see the largest of the venues on the site, which is the main media centre. 20,000 members of the media will be there. You see the stainless steel vents coming out of the side. They're designed to all the hot air that we produced uh, in, in there, um, but needn't say anything more about that. Uh, the, rest, the largest venue on site is actually the largest media centre in the world, um, and the uh, the building immediately on our left now. These are all the main studios. Uh, this is where the BBC, NBC, and so on will be. And uh, next time we see live Olympics on the TV, uh, it's coming through the studios in these this building here. Uh, which I find quite exciting, that is the case. Um, the other side of this building, and uh, we can't see it of course because this one's in the way, uh, there's another office block effectively. Uh, that is where all the print journalists will be. Um, now, they're not going to be there just for the games. They'll be moving in somewhere where you're beginning to work in there, getting ready uh, for the games. Um, there's going to be a little high street between those two buildings. Uh, with cafes and bars and uh, uh, dry cleaners, banks, so on and so forth. Um, that high street won't remain in legacy after the games, but those main buildings will. And already the legacy company are speaking to companies that want to move in uh, and make use of the facilities here. It's been designed in such a way that it can be divided up into separate blocks, should that be uh, necessary uh, to do so. And uh, coming up, you see now, on the, as we come to the end of the building, on the left, you see there is a car park. Uh, that is uh, the only car parking on site which is for the use of the media. Um, moment uh, that the quite high. It's actually high enough to take double deck buses, and uh, it could well be that it would function as a bus station uh, uh, once uh, the games have gone and uh, Legacy takes over. On the left, we've got the main northern entrance to the park. This is where the most of the construction vehicles come in uh, straight off the uh, A12. Uh, into the uh, area of the park. Uh, but as we're going back to your left, you can see the velodrome of the world, you can see why it's been christened the Pringle. Um, and then to the right of that, the big white building, uh, that's actually the basketball arena. And then over to the right of the basketball arena, uh, you can see the something of the uh, Olympic village. Now, we're going to go a lot closer to those uh, later, so...